What is happening guys? My name is Ryan and welcome to another Space Engineers tutorial. This time I'll be teaching you guys how to build a fighter ship. Now, if you haven't seen how to build a regular ship or a mining ship, I'll leave the links to those tutorials in the description below. Uh, they might be helpful before watching this one as it's slightly more advanced. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started. So we want to place down the foot of a small ship and grab two light armor blocks. Place them on top, one, two, right there. Then we know need to go ahead and grab the cockpit. Then go ahead and delete this second armor block here. Now, first thing we need is a weapon. Now, because this is a very, very simple ship, we're only having a single Gatling gun, which will take pride position right at the front there. There we go. And just to make that look slightly nicer, we're going to grab the corner blocks. This adds a bit more defense as it's a small corner light armor block and it makes it just look a bit sleeker. Now next what you want to do is grab some more light armor blocks and what we're going to do is bring it so that we've got nine light armor blocks as a little platform here. Next we need to have a cargo container and this is to hold say ammunition and that sort of thing if you're in survival mode and we place that there so there's one uh, entrance to it at the front which is the one you'll access and one at the back which will be connected via these conveyors which I will now grab it in place so one conveyor uh, we need the curved conveyor as well so we'll grab that curved conveyor there curved conveyor there, they're going into the little slots in the back of the, back of the cockpit uh, then we're putting the conveyor that goes all directions either side. Next you want to grab your reactors uh, I just like to place them the same sort of direction one there one there, so that's two reactors uh, nice and in place then after that what we're going to do is grab one block there and also on top of that we're going to place the gyroscope. This is so that there's a gap between uh, the gyroscope and the cargo container so you can easily access it still. Next onto thrusters. Now, now normally I place thrusters here but we want it to be protected because it's a fighter ship so we want them inwards as far as possible and these will be covered by armoured plating so forward back then we want left right I just realised my error sorry these two I deleted just the two light armour blocks there thrusters actually need to go there this is so they're on the inside of the ship. Now I'm using that as a platform for the gyroscope and obviously we've got a gap so one two thrusters at the bottom. So we've got forward, we've got backwards, we've got left, we've got right and we've got up but now we also need down. Now the last location for those is right here on the back. Now before I put all the armoured plating and stuff on you can see that this is a very very compact ship very very hard to shoot at and essentially that's the idea that it's very slim and sleek uh, and compact and that means you're less of a target when engaging in firefights so now we're going to grab the different versions of light armor blocks and we're going to start covering the ship up so we'll start with the top we'll go one two three one, two, three. Now we want to leave a gap here. Uh, put one of those either side. And the reason we're doing that is to grab one of these curved shaped ones, place it there. And as you can see, I've created a little slope to gain access. And as you can see, even though there's a block there, I can still get into it. But I do have to, in fact, cover these up as well I'm sorry they're the wrong direction and 
and one at the bottom here like so and as you can see that makes it into a nice little point covering uh, these as much as possible and they will be barely poking out once the design is finished grab the normal square blocks and either side we want to go one two one two basically hiding all the core components of the ship that make it run and then we're gonna layer it even more makes it this not only makes it look nice it also protects it even more so as this uh, layer upon layer of various armored plating for the ship now we're gonna cover that one up as well because as you can see we're now covering that right there and we're gonna go ahead and grab one of the corner pieces place that in there flip it upside down place another one there and that's covering uh, this thruster right here uh, once again grab one there flip it upside down another there that protects this one 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 these ones poke out they're probably the most vulnerable of the entire ship but uh, that's not a major issue as you should be facing your opponent there we are now we've got to do the same for this side so as you can see on this side it's nice and blocked up nice and secure these little uh, thrusters are protected they only poke out slightly on the other side we're doing the same thing now flip these ones one two one two one uh, then we'll place another one there make sure we don't forget this one which goes over that then we will need to rotate it back Ooh. so it goes directly underneath these ones here completely protecting it grab the corners once again flip it put another one there, I don't think I did that one on the other side let me just double check, no I did not probably a good idea just to add that much more protection to the ship oh actually you don't really require them, you can if you want I'll probably leave that one because there's still a gap underneath as a result so remove that, that's an alternative if you prefer to do that uh, then we're gonna put one here, flip it, another there I'm just gonna double check that all the armoured plating is in place, oh, I don't think I have the corner no, no, that's all good now, as you can see, all the armoured plating has been put in place and as a result, the ship all the way around is nice and secure. Now, in order to actually operate the ship itself, obviously you can hop in the cockpit, but how do you fire the gun? So, you need to hit G, you want to go to weapons and tools, grab the Gatling gun, put it in the toolbar and as you can see if you press 1 then you press your left mouse button it fires so press P to take off this is a really really easy to fly ship, easy to build nice and simple for your very first fighter ship obviously you can upgrade to more elaborate designs generally you'll probably want to have more weapons and that sort of thing uh, when you come to building more advanced ships just for that added protection that sort of thing but for your very first ship this is definitely a very very good option I hope you guys have enjoyed my tutorial got a little R2D2 poking out of the back there uh, I'll just show you before uh, I leave you uh, that you can in fact access 
the inventory from the rear. As you can see, there's the little hole. Press T, oh, sorry. Yep, press T or K on that one. Uh, as you can see, you access the small cargo container, which is connected uh, to the cockpit, which is connected to the Gatling gun. Obviously, you've got your small reactors on the side, so you can put in um, uranium in order to make it run. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave it a like as it helps me out a lot. Uh, leave any comments or suggestions down below if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.